here we go. It is a great start from Batia Casadei. Not neck and neck like he was with Dominic Egerter yesterday. Torres looking up the inside. Granado slots into third. A cracking start, I think, for Malaysia Skriggs there into fifth spot with Torres just ahead of him in fourth. But once again, it's whole shot to Casadei. Casadei, the best starter on the grid by... Uh, some distance this year, and it's a bad first couple of corners for Matteo Ferrari. He's been uh, pushed back to seventh. He makes up two positions down into turn four with an excellent move to get by both Iskridge and Mikel Pons, who manages not to high side it out of turn two like he did yesterday. The fan into line going down towards turn eight. Torres is having a sniff down into turn eight into Quirchia. Can't quite make it. He was the fastest man on track last time around, was the number 40, Jordi Torres. Wants to get on the podium for the first time this year. Just missed out yesterday, but those guys have quite a job on their hands if they want to get up towards Eric Granado, who is making stealthy progress towards the front. He's taken a tenth here, a tenth there. You can see that gap is down to half a second, basically, to uh, Dominic Egerton in second. We could be building up to a grandstand finish, an awesome one to end this era of Moto E then through the other right hand as they come. They're just so fast through there. Egeta, it's just brilliant to watch how he sort of plays all over the back of Casadei and up the inside he goes then, sits him up perfectly. Wow, mirror signal manoeuvre, parks it in the middle, beautiful stuff, cuts back across him to counteract any sort of counter-attack from Casadei there. Brilliant stuff from Egeta. He's taken the lead, but that sort of move has allowed Granada to catch right back on. What will the gap be as they come across the line to mark down three laps to go back down the straight they come Cassidy pulls out of the slipstream then they're side by side in towards turn eight he he's breaks it. it down he's into the lead once again then is the 27 this is absolutely perfect for Eric Granado Matteo Ferrari and Jordi Torres behind these two fighting among each other up front and just like yesterday Cassidy so strong on the brakes down into Quirch he made that look so so simple but you do feel that Egater has got something over the number 27 through the fast rights at the end of this back straight it all comes down to this then as Egeta, he oh. looks for a move on the inside, but that's it. That's his win over. He's gone from second to fourth place. He is down and out. He asked too much of the front tyre there. He nearly clips the back of Cassaday, but Cassaday with a bit of breathing space. But for how long now? Yeah, yeah, Egeta crashed out of one of the races here in 2020 at that very place. He probably thought he was going to have a similar fate just there, but he somehow managed to save that front end slide. Did well to bring it back into fourth. Time is running out if you want to make that overtake for the win. Ferrari catching up. Up to Cassidy then did he nail his drive out of turn six he's catching him closer and closer Eric just so speedway style into turn eight as we love it then he does yeah as Matteo Ferrari then tries to wind up the wick and close in on the number 27 you have to imagine turn 14 he's not close enough to do it here Matt turn 14 and surely is going to be the place that he has a bite this is it then absolutely nail your drive it's Ferrari versus Cassidy on the back straight through Carvone then he's got to perfect his line right here and this is it for third in the championship of course these two separated by 1.5 points brilliant brilliant stuff what a finale what more could you ask for him he's, he's going for it he's going for it neck Whoa. and neck oh Cassidy just want to give it up they're side by side here we are then oh it's as good as you like Ferrari's done it he's made the move has he defended his line into potentially the last overtaking opportunity he leads them in towards the penultimate turn he nails that line safely through it on the exit avoid the track limits and ferrari the win will be yours but no. Cassidy, he's going up the inside again this is it for moto we he's run it wide ferrari's done it the magician of Mizano is back on form he takes the win and third place in the series that is brilliant what a way to finish finish up this year and this era of Moto E. But the race winning trophy to Matteo Ferrari. He always got a glove on, isn't he? Uh, and uh, Ricardo Amoroso is back. Head of global marketing and sales at NLX Way. And Ferrari lifts the trophy.